Okay, welcome to the Business Schedule Freedom Formula. So this is a really simple board on purpose. So let's just talk through it real quick. We've already looked at it a little bit if you um, have taken the Trello for Beginners course in the membership. But if you have come across this template uh, somewhere else, let's just do a quick little tour. So to start with, we've got this first list, which is our how to use this board. You found this video right in this card. And what we're going to do in this video is walk you through setting up these automations, okay? The next list we have is our brain dump. This is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a place for you to create cards as needed to um, either not so much remind yourself, I would consider remind yourself more hot list items, but when you have an idea that you don't have time to act on in that moment, whether it's because it's just not a priority right now, or um, you're just not in a position, you might be out and about and you don't want to forget. You just create a quick little card here on the brain dump and drop it in there. We'll talk about these uh, fancy cards at the top at the very end. Then you've got your hot list, and this is where you're going to put your one-off tasks that are um, priority right now are going to be on this list. Um, in an, an intermediate or advanced Trello course in the membership, we will talk about how to set up cross-board automations where you can have another board where you're tracking a particular project you might be working through or an event that you're planning and actually create or copy those priority tasks to this list as they become uh, due. But we're not going to talk about that right now. That's a little more advanced. For now, this is just where you will manually add your own tasks. And then we've got our um, recurring tasks lists. We've got our daily tasks, our weekly tasks, and our monthly tasks. And then as a little kind of bonus at the end here, we've got another place for you to store things like your brand brief and things like that. You can have your uh, bio written out in here. You can, if you have a specific title that you want to use for yourself, you can do that. You can put hex codes for your brand colors, font names, hashtags, I help statements, all that sort of thing. And then also any links that you might need to include for um, either affiliate links or potentially um, opt-in links that you often need to grab and copy paste into a Facebook group or somewhere else. This just gives you really easy access so that, again, if you're on the go, you don't have to go searching for that link in order to uh, jump onto an opportunity. So let's just really quick talk through these automations. So what we've got here on the board are automations that allow you to um, create recurring tasks so that not only will they reset themselves when you mark them complete, but that will also allow you to get reminders on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis if you so choose. So this is what those rules will look like, but let's go ahead and build them real quick inside the automation builder. So to get there, you're gonna go ahead and click on this lightning bolt. This is all about automation. And we're gonna to go to rules. All of our rules are going to be within this rules section, not scheduled, not due date. Those are used for other types of automation. So we're always gonna stay in rules and we're gonna create automation. And the first thing we need to do here is add a trigger. So this is what is the event that is going to kick off this automation. So in all three of these cases, the trigger that we want is when you manually mark a particular task complete. So in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and start with um, this dates option here. And we're gonna scroll down to this second choice where we see when the due date is marked as complete, you could do complete or incomplete, but for these, we're gonna do complete. And then we're gonna add an additional filter to each of these because we want different things to happen depending on if it's on the daily, weekly, or monthly list. So we're gonna go ahead and check, the, click on this little filter and we're gonna choose a list. So we're gonna start with our daily tasks list. We'll hit this little plus sign 
and then we'll hit the blue plus sign and you'll see that your trigger has now been created. And then from here, we need to set up the actions. So there's a few things. When it's daily, obviously we need to move the due date. So we're gonna, again, go to the dates option. We are going to move the due date to, and then in this case, we're gonna say tomorrow because this is daily, right? We're gonna hit the little plus sign and again, the blue plus sign. And you can see our first action has been added here. And then we also wanna make sure that that due date gets marked incomplete again, so that if we do have a reminder set up on that card, it won't see it as already complete and we will get reminded. So then the last action we're gonna do here is to, um, again, under dates, we're gonna mark the due date as incomplete, blue plus sign, and then we've got all of our actions here and hit save. Okay, all of these automations are gonna work in the same way. The only difference is that you're going to be choosing a different list each time and a different amount of time to push that due date. So you can see here in these um, automations that we were looking at that we've got the, the daily is tomorrow, weekly is to the same day next week, and then on the monthly, we're moving it to the same day next month. And those are all gonna be done in the exact same places as where we just did the daily, okay? The last thing I want to, well, actually second to last thing, two more things. So when you have um, a need for a reminder, and to be honest, like I always need reminders. In fact, I've chosen Trello like largely because of the fact that it has uh, recurring reminder capability. So just because you've set up that automation just means the due date is gonna reset itself. It doesn't mean it's gonna remind you yet. In order to get that reminder on the particular cards that you want to get that reminder, you're gonna click into the card. You're gonna come here and click into where our due date selection is and make sure that you've chosen a set a due date reminder. Okay, it's not gonna automatically have that. It's gonna default to none. So you're gonna wanna choose either at the time of the due date, if you're um, selecting a particular time, five minutes before, 10, 15 hour, or two hours before, you can also do a day or two days before, but that's not gonna be real helpful on a daily. You might use that on one of your monthly options. Okay, so you wanna make sure you do that and hit save. And that's gonna ensure that as your automation resets the due date, you still get reminded every day. And then the last little thing I wanna talk about are these fancy cards at the top. Um, this is actually a power-up. It's a power-up that Trello uh, put out themselves. So, and it's free. So you're gonna go into our rocket ship power-ups option. And you can see I've already got a few things connected here, but, and dash cards is the one we're looking for. But let's say it wasn't there yet you would go into add power-ups. And at that point, it's gonna open up the um, catalog of power-ups. And from here, you would search um, What's going on? And from here you would search dash cards and you're gonna end up with the one that we already have here actually. Um, so, but you would have an option to add that power up. And then once you do, you can click, sorry, that was a little too fast. Once you do, you're gonna get this new icon here, which is um, like a little track card with, with numbers on it. So you're gonna click on that. And then from here, they have a bunch of pre-made or like template cards that you can create. So um, we're gonna create one for our daily list. And then we're gonna go ahead and do one for um, what's due that day on the card. So you can see here, this one says due this week, but let's change that. So we're gonna go ahead and customize. And we're going to change this to today. 
leave these as they already are. But from here, we're going to go ahead and say do today. Okay. And then we can also change the background if we want to. We can choose um, a color or search. It'll It's connected to Unsplash natively. So you could search for um, any other background, but I kind of like the one they already have on it. So from here, we'll hit start tracking. And it's going to automatically drop that in our first list. But we're just going to go ahead and click and drag it over where we want it. And it's going to um, automatically update itself for here. So let's change one of these due dates back to today so that we can see how it shows up. So you can see now that I have moved this to today, this has updated and said, hey, there's still one thing on this board that's due today. And that's how dash cards work. And um, they're certainly not necessary, but for me, I feel like they add um, just a real quick, easy at a glance. I can see, oh, that's what's due today. And um, you can actually see too, this is a real kind of cool thing. When you click into a card that says something is due, it will actually link you I mean, it's only going to give you, there's limits. It's only going to show you so many of these, but it'll show you exactly what is due. So if you somehow couldn't find it on the board, um, you can click right into the card and it's going to say, this is what's still due today. So that's pretty handy. So that is how you use the business schedule freedom formula. You can tweak this in any way that you need to. That's one of the beauties of Trello is that it is completely customizable. And this is just the way my brain works. And it's a starting point for you. But if your brain or your process works differently, go for it. Feel free to do whatever you need to do to make it work for you. And if you have any questions, you can always reach me at kelly at kellylgable.com.